everyone. Today, we're going to be learning about Edward Jenner, an English physician who brought vaccination into the spotlight. And no, he is not related to Kendall Jenner or any of the celebrities, Jenners for that matter. Edward was born in the UK on May 17, 1749, as a son of a clergyman. Very sadly, his father died when he was only five years old, so his older brother took up his duty as a family's father figure. His childhood taught him to value and respect nature that became a lifelong trait. Suddenly, he became the apprentice of a local surgeon at a young age of 14 and moved to London for further training, where he became the house pupil of John Hunter. John Hunter's advice saying, why think, why not to experiment, stuck with Jenner through all his future studies, returned back to his hometown of Berkeley, which is in the UK, by 1772 to pursue his career as a doctor there. Aside from obtaining more medical knowledge, Edward Jenner thoroughly enjoyed being a violinist at a musical club, delved into poetry and literature, and had an interest in observing the life patterns of birds, such as cuckoos. Although Jenner was a revered man with many loves, love did disappoint him in the form of a woman in 1778, but time is giving, and he married in 1788. As you all may know, the smallpox was both rampant and fatal in the 18th century, so it was clearly a dangerous concoction. The disease tore families apart and was one of the few things with no regard for social class. Smallpox is transmitted from person to person from direct contact with infected bodily fluids and is highly contagious. While others mourned and panicked, Jenner was impressed, which might just be the wackest emotion a physician should feel during this national crisis. To be fair though, he was impressed by the fact that those who recovered from the cowpox were immune to the smallpox. Thus, Edward Jenner started to hypothesize that purposely transferring the milder cowpox from person to person could protect against smallpox. Here comes the well-known story of Edward Jenner's life-saving breakthrough, May of 1796. Edward found a young dairy maid with fresh cowpox lesions on her hand by the name of Sarah Nelms. On May 14th, he did what we now call vaccinated an eight-year-old boy named James Phillips with Sarah's fluids. Mind you, James Phillips never contracted smallpox. For the first nine days, James was mildly sick and was completely well by the 10th day post-vaccination. After performing more cases, Edward Jenner privately published a book called The Inquiry into the Causes and Effects of the Viola Vaccine in 1798. However, Jenner's publication did not receive positive reviews. He was unsuccessful in a three-month trip to London in search of volunteers for vaccination. On the contrary, vaccination did get published in London by others, most famously the surgeon Henry Klein. Jenner gave his inoculants to Dr. Scorch Pearson and William Woodfield as the popularity of vaccines rose in London. Unfortunately, Jenner ran into problems along the way, which involved Pearson attempting to take the credit for the inoculant and Woodville contaminating the smallpox hospital he worked at of cowpox. Ultimately, vaccination proved its value, and Jenner became to strongly advocate and spread awareness for vaccination. Quickly, the procedure reached America and the rest of Europe, and was eventually known around the world. Nonetheless, there were so many challenges. Vaccination seemed easy to follow, but the majority of people that practiced it did not follow Jenner's recommended procedure. Furthermore, the cowpox vaccine weren't easy to obtain, preserve, or transmit. Another problem with the vaccine was as simple as that the biological factors that provided immunity were just not understood which would need a lot more information gathering as well as mistakes to figure out. Despite some of the struggles, the death rate from smallpox diminished. Jenner was recognized for his work in vaccination and received worldwide recognition and many honors. In 1802, Parliament rewarded Jenner with a sum of 10,000 euros along with another sum of 20,000 euros in 1806. Taking into account of everything he received, Jenner also received backlash for his discoveries. However, Jenner was not bothered by criticism because he was so focused on his work, even to a point where it became unhealthy to his private life and personal affairs. Sadly, Jenner's wife died of tuberculosis in 1815, causing Jenner to leave a life of publicity.